death and resurrection only apply to mortals. Do not apply to people who do not die. Do not apply to immortals. Because an immortal person doesn't die in the first place. So there's no question of him rising from the dead. Yeah, but, but you see, but in the case of Jesus, no, no. A resurrection. What is resurrection? Yeah, but that's, that's your definition. I don't agree with it. I'm John, it's not true. what is the definition of resurrection? I don't know. Rising from dead. Yes. I mean, okay. You can describe it in a simple way and then more complex well, you can, way. You can make it complicated if you want, but yeah. you'll still come to the same conclusion. The resurrection means to rise back from being dead. Yes. Yes? Yes. Did Jesus die? Yes. yes. Did Jesus resurrect? Yes. Did the Father die? No. Did the Father resurrect? No. So who is immortal from the two? It's clear, it's the Father. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But it's not so why are you fighting your, your natural inclination towards the truth? What you're doing is you're fighting it. Don't fight it. Absolutely not. Acknowledge the truth when you see it. No, I can see your point, but what I'm saying, it's a weak argument. Why is it weak? It's very strong. It's, no, it's shallow. It's okay, which part of it is shallow and weak? Go on. Tell me which part. The, the trying to interpret the what is immortality, what is death. This is, I'm not saying I'm going by your definition 100%, but you can expand a lot on these terms. Why didn't you ask me where I got the definitions from? Well, I can ask you if you want. Yeah, so I got it from the Strong's Concordance which is a Christian kind of uh, dictionary in order for you to understand every word in the Bible. Okay, okay so it defines every word. Yeah. So it's not my definition, my friend. Yes, yeah. you can go and look at the Greek term. I think it's called Anastasia or Anastasia or something like that. I might be mispronouncing it. That is what immortal means. And this is defined as someone who is not subject to death. Oh, I'm using the correct definition based on the Christian text, not my definition. Yeah. So if you think I'm making it up, please go home and check it. Okay, I will check All right? it. But, but anyway, look, yeah. from our natural uh, understanding of the terms, and these are simple terms, death, resurrection, crucifixion, um, immortal, these are everyday terms. They are not some, what do you say, special terms only known by the scholars. Yeah, they are simple. These are simple terms, and based on the context, God is telling you that he doesn't die. If God himself is defining, who are we to define God? So God defines himself and he, he tells us not everything about him, but there are certain things which he tells us about him in order that we recognize him. Yeah. And one of them is the fact that he is immortal. And I gave you the reference. Yes. First Timothy 6.16. Yes. It's also in First Timothy 1.17. Yes. 